Should you do an exploratory before you come to Ecuador? Should you do an exploratory before you go anywhere outside the United States? When I come back, that's what we're going to talk about on this lecture number two. Hey! Hello there. So that's the question. Should you do an exploratory? Did I do an exploratory? No. I didn't do an exploratory. I tell people I'm doing my exploratory now. I've been doing it for two years. About two and a half, two, well, two years and a couple months. May, let's see, May, May, two years. So, uh, but I'm different, you know. I'm, I, I, I danced to the beat of my own drummer and I do things my way. I didn't have the money or the time, to tell you the truth, to do an exploratory because, see, I retired and then said, okay, I'm out of here. I'm gone because it was right in the middle of the pandemic. The, it was the right time to sell my place. It was the right time to get rid of my junk and get a new life started. And so I had done enough research, three years worth, of actually more than three years worth of several years. I started in 2007 researching this, but in the last three years is when I really, really got serious about investigating this uh, idea of going to another country for retirement. But your situation may be different. If you're a married couple, for example, and you got dependents, you got kids, you got other family, siblings, and other family that are concerned about you, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, you, you know, uh, maybe it is a good idea to do an exploratory. So I have two thoughts about it, okay? I have two thoughts about exploratory trip. If you have the time and the money and you can do a 90-day exploratory trip, by all means, do it. Okay, so you're retired, you're you've done, you're finished with your job, and you're ready to make a move, but you still have your house and you still have all your belongings and everything. Lock the place up for 90 days and come on down. You know, come to the coast, stay in Monta, explore the coastal regions, you know, for a month and a half, and then go to the Andes. I would go to Cotacachi and work your way south. Okay, go to Cotacachi, go up to Mendo Banos, go up to Cuenca, and then go down to Vilcabamba and then Loja. I don't recommend Vilcabamba as everybody knows but go to Loja and then now you cover both both regions and you see two completely different cultures in Ecuador okay if you don't have the time or the money to do that and you're going to come down here and you're determined that you're going to move out of the country and come to Ecuador for a retirement I highly encourage you to put your stuff in storage for a year okay you can sell your car I mean it's easy to buy a car but you know before you go and get rid of all the furniture that you like and all your personal belongings your toys and stuff Unless you plan on loading everything up on a container and bring it down here, I would put it in storage. Put it in storage, leave it, and then then come on down and, and spend as much time as you want, okay? Maybe rent your property out. The economy is a lot different now. I mean, when at the time that I sold my place, oh my God, you know how it was? It was mid-2021, and it was just crazy not to sell as long as it was the right thing for me, okay? So that's my feelings about it. If you have the time, the money, take a 90-day exploratory. If you don't have the time, the money put your stuff in storage and come on down for a year okay or come down for 90 days but i mean if you're gonna if you're gonna be so drastic as to put all your stuff in storage then you might as well come for a year come down here and rent you know get yourself a nice apartment here in monta and use this as your home base while you explore ecuador okay ecuador is not that big folks you know it's the size of Arizona. Some people say it's the size of Colorado, but I don't know for sure. But anyway, that's my lecture for this time. It's about the exploratory trip. Be smart, be safe, and stay healthy, okay? And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.